Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to be heading up. Because we're going to be starting the uh, the trading side quest. Or the trading quest. Um, the first one we need to go to is in here. Because there's a woman. Hi. Mamasha. Uh, oh, will you give that Yoshi doll to my baby? Hmm. Sure. I have no choice. Oh, thank you. You are indeed a generous person. Ah, I'll give you this in return. And we got a ribbon. Maybe you can trade the ribbon for something else. And so this is the beginning of the game-long trading mission. Uh, it's a bit of a pain, I'll be honest, but it has to be done. Uh, so let's... We can actually do two more trades. The first one is over here. We've got to head past the chain chomp, who can't hurt you. Hey, Bow Wow. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? All right, let's go in here. <laughs> and we're going to talk to his little sister. Chow Chow. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all. Oh, that ribbon, I need it. Will you trade it for my dog food? I don't see where I get out, what get out, why I get out of this, but fine. It's full of juicy beef. How oh, nice. Right, so we're done here. We have got to go back into that room for a secret seashell, but not until later. Uh, okay, something else I want to show off briefly, or I want to bring mention to briefly, is this. This is the fishing mini game, because every bloody Zelda game has to have one. Let's fish. Basically, there's four items you can get here. You can get two heart pieces. You can get a fairy bottle. You can get a fairy bottle. And... Ah. Oh. Let's wait for this to drop. Hopefully I can get him. You can get a fairy bottle. And you can get an improved law. And we got ourselves a fish. And that's pretty much what it is. It's pretty much just press A to launch it. Um, wiggle it about with the analog stick. And then press A when he bites. And then just keep pressing A to bring it in. And it gives me 13 rupees. And we got one of the heart pieces, but I'm not doing anything else because this bit, I hate this mini game. So we're not going to be coming back here. I just thought I'd show it off briefly. So yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but whatever. Anyway, let's move on, shall we? Uh, so we are... Oh, before I forget... I almost did. We're going to go to the shop first. Uh, we're going to go in here and go to the shop. Oh no, there are no... Uh, you bitch! Where are your bombs? It doesn't sell any bombs. You don't sell any bombs. Why don't you, why don't you sell any bombs? Try going out. I'll try one more time and then I'll just go. Please. Please. You're a bitch. Alright. <laughs> Basically in the first dungeon there is a bomb, a wall that you can bomb to get a secret seashell. And of course I can't, I need bombs to do it, but I can't get it because I don't have any fucking, buy you piece of shit. <sighs> right. Nothing left to do in town now. We're just going to head off and we're going to start the main quest now. But first... There's still something else for us to do. Uh, we're going to head this way. Fuck you. Um, we're going to head this way. And we're going to go into this house. There's an alligator in here wearing a hat. Speak to him. What's that you have? It's canned food. For heaven's sake, man. Please give that to me. Please. I'm going to lose it if I can't get that can. 
sure. Oh, thank you, I'll take that. He swallowed that fucking hole. He's an alligator, I suppose. <laughs> I hope that hit the spot, man. That was great. I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. Yum. And we got the bananas. And got bananas in return. Good deal. Alright. That is for later. That's for the second dungeon or the third one. It's how we enter the uh, second or third dungeon. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I thought so. We're going to have to head up. Because now it's time. <sighs> Finally. For us to enter the first dungeon of the game. After I grab this rupee. Okay. First dungeon of the game, Tail Cave. Really easy dungeon. Uh. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Where do I go? <laughs> oh my god, Tom, you're useless. Alright, uh, uh, now I know what I know. I know what I'm doing. Eh. Fuck off. There you go. Right, here we are. God, I really miss the item, the first item that we get. Anyway. Use the key. And that opens up the way for the first dungeon, Tail Cave. And that re that re recognizable jingle. In we go. Oh yeah, I was going to mention... Uh, very briefly, I will mention the fact that... Go away. Go away. <laughs> and we got a small key. We'll get a lot of these during the course of the uh, game, I'm telling you that now. But anyway. In the overworld, there's a bit of a weird glitch. In this game. And that is that when you enter a new area, because when you enter a new area, there'll be an item which kind of pops up. Like there'll be like a word which will pop up in the bottom left-hand corner, basically telling you that this is is the name of the area. Basically, in this game, um, sorry, brain's gone. What happens in uh, in this game basically whenever you enter a new area go fuck yourself chest nice uh, but whenever you enter a new area the frame rate gets cut in half from 60 fps to 30. i guess a bit of a programming oversight i don't really know why it does it but it does and it looks kind of weird anyway in dungeons there are four items that you can get ow go fuck yourself Peace. Go away. There are uh, basically four items you can get. You can get the compass. Come here, little mold on. Now, I could go up that way. But, um, let's try again this. Shall I go this way first? Yes. <laughs> I will. There are four items you can get. Compass, map, something called the stone beak. Uh, and also the dungeon item, whatever that happens to be. Fuck, I'm, I'm swimming in chests. Alright. Open that. Wow, I'm getting a lot of small keys. Not the bats either. Red rupee, that's 20. I'm getting a load of these already, but you do need a lot of fucking money in this game. Um, for few items. Ah, I hate these things. They're annoying a link to the past, they're annoying here. Kind of jump at you like a bunch of pricks. I can't get that way. Um. Alright. Ah. God, I'm getting hurt a lot. Die, please. Oh, and that noise, that's so annoying. Uh, Alright. I'm going to go up first. I'm going to go up here first. Let's have a look. 
yeah, as you can see here, that's where the bombable wall, bombable wall is here, and that's for um, um, trying to think what's the name of it, a uh, secret seashell. But I won't be able to get that until this. I've beaten this dungeon, which is kind of annoying. But uh, hey, what can you do? I thought I would have been able to deal with it, but apparently not. I hate these guys. Fuck off. That's why these guys are so irritating. Aha. The biggest statue is saying something you can't make out. Yeah, so... That's why you need the stone beak, basically. Fuck you. Die. Thank you. Another couple of rupees. And that's uh, another area for us to go down. Let's go down here. Oh, and these are the 2D sections, which are pretty fun. Uh, something else is kind of weird. They have a lot of... Um, Mario enemies and other Nintendo characters that show up in this game. I don't really know why. Fuck. Can't get that yet. I think this is the item. Is this the item? Yes, baby. We get the Rock's Feather. Best item in um, Awa Link's Awakening, in my opinion. Let's put this on X. It allows you to jump. First time that Link can jump in a game. And it has to be a special item. <laughs> but hey, it's kind of cool that we can uh, jump at all. And it's really... It's great for exploration. Right, so we're pretty much done in this section, I think, for now. Fuck you! Right. We're going to head back this way now. Because I think... Uh, are we done? Uh, yeah, we're done with that section. So, what we're going to do... You asshole! There's a fucking rupee that's lost to the void. Ow! Thank you for dying. And we're going to use the key. <laughs> We've still got another couple of keys. Oh my god. You're a dick. Right, we're going to wait. Haha, <laughs> fuck you. Time for a little mini boss. This is a piece of piss, really. Yeah, it's literally... Ow. Ah, oh my god, I'm jumping too early. But there we go, he's done. All the mini-bosses and bosses in this game are a piece of piss, and they always drop a little fairy for you. Uh, these uh, basically warp you to the beginning of the dungeon. If you want to use that. Uh, so, yeah, we're not done yet. So, yeah, that's where the boss is, but... We need the boss key. Alright, let's head this way. Yeah, this is just... gives me extra stuff. So let's get going. Uh, let me have a quick look. Sorry. <laughs> I always get my cells a bit, um... Okay, um, can't go up there yet. Okay, we need to go back around, so... Haha, <laughs> didn't hit me. Fuck you. That was stupid. Can we go up this way? Oh, here we go. So now we want to wait. Fuck. 
Right, so now we're waiting for this thing. There we go. Just make them three of a kind and you're done. Not particularly difficult. Just a bit of a timing thing. And we got the stone beak. Let's show you what the stone beak does. There you go. Turn aside the spine ones. Yeah, thank you. They basically give you little hints. If you should, should you need it. Go away. Shit. Heart, heart. Thank you. Right, I'm going. No one likes you. Peace of power. Thank you. Alright. We're going to go this way. Uh, let me. Th yeah, I need to go right. Okay, so we're going to go here. I'm going to continue this way. Die. Thank you. Thank you. I think we're almost done. This should be the last thing we need. Or the second to last thing. There we go. We've got the map. So let me have a look. Whoops. Okay. I know where we need to go now. <laughs> That's going to happen a lot in this playthrough, my friends. <laughs> me forgetting where the fuck I'm meant to go. Jump. But here we go. Final p final chest. And we're done. I do always like that little chime though when it tells you you're near an item. Near a chest. It's kind of a nice little thing. Anyway. Jump across. And we're done. I'm brilliant. Fuck off. Alright. There we go. There is a little bit of um, maneuverability in the air with the rock's feather, just not a hell of a lot. We're going to go down here first, because I'm going to... Fuck. I'm not going to fuck. I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm going to grab... See, that's kind of dark. People hanging from their necks. Dead bodies. That's kind of a. It's kind of dark for Zelda. But I guess this is. A, it is technically a dungeon. Yeah, and the boss keys are called nightmare keys. Time for the first boss. Buzz, buzz, outsider. First boss is Moldorm. Now. Yeah. This isn't really all that hard. Ow. 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 Fuck. No. Oh my god. Am I going to die? Just avoid him. Stay away. There we go. I think you have to hit him eight times. And... Shit. I died to Moldorm. That's so pathetic. Let's try again. Fuck. It's n I knew I was going to die. I was just waiting for it to happen to die to one of these fucking bosses. It's fucking Moldorm. It's a piece of shit. He's easy as fuck. I lost to him. What a fucking joke. Alright. I feel my gamer credentials have gone down the pan. Uh, don't stand on the things for too long, on those cracked things for too long, because if you fall down, you're going to have to do the boss all over again. Because, yeah, this is what Moldorm was, not it? Oop. A link to the past, too. By which I mean as well, I don't mean the sequel. Which, I guess technically A Link Between Worlds was A Link to the Past, too. And boom. See, that's how it should go. Him dead like a little bitch. But there we go, we're done. And first heart container. 
Your maximum health has been increased, and it also refills all your hearts, so now up to four. Isn't that nice? And... First instrument, baby, one of eight. So let's get going. You got the full moon cello. By the way, cellos are fucking heavy as fuck and massive. How is Link holding that above his head with no, literally, literally no problems? But he can't lift a fucking pot. I know. Because it's Zelda. It's video games. But <laughs> still doesn't make any sense. Still stupid. Swamp. 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 A path opens in the blooms. 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 <laughs> so yeah, I guess in the next dungeon is in the swamp. Um, but yeah, we're not going to be doing that. <laughs> we're going to be stopping here. Uh, so that's it for this first... Uh, this first recording session of uh, a link to the path. Uh, what the fuck, Tom? Link's Awakening. Join me next time when we're going to be heading off to do some extra side quest stuff. And then we'll be moving on to the second dungeon of the game in the, sw in the uh, swamp. So join me next time for the next part of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I can't believe I died to Moldon. Anyway, <laughs> fuck. See you next time.